How's it going everyone? In this video today, I'm going to showing you all how to install AltStore on your iOS devices. And this is going to be a fairly straightforward tutorial. So as long as you make sure to follow each step carefully, you should be up and running in no time. And jumping right into the tutorial here, you're just going to want to head over to altstore.io and download the installer for whichever device you have. And this tutorial, I'm going to be using Windows, but the Mac OS install is fairly similar. So go ahead and select which device you're using and then save it to somewhere easy to access. I'm just gonna save it to my downloads folder. Then locate the installation location. And you're gonna to wanna to right click on it and then extract it to wherever that location is. Now go ahead and run the setup.exe file. Click next. You can install it for yourself or whoever else is on that computer. And then click next to continue the installation. And then you're gonna get a user account control prompt. Just click yes on that. And the installation should complete fairly quickly after that. You can go ahead and close that. And for some reason, alt server might not make a shortcut to your desktop. So you're gonna to have to manually look it up in the Windows search, but that's fairly enough. Just type alt server and it should be the first result. And then go ahead and open that. And if you don't have iCloud installed already, that's just fine. Um, you're just going to want to go ahead and click on this download button here, and it's going to download a file directly from Apple. And for this, I found that it works better when you download it from this button here, and you don't use the one from the Microsoft Store. I'm not quite sure why that is, but this has just always kind of been the way I've gone with it. So just go ahead and click on the download. And then go ahead and save that to an easy to access place. Go ahead and open up that location and then double click on the file to run it. Accept the terms, go ahead and install. Another user account control will pop up, hit yes. And once again, another prompt will pop up, so click yes on that. And if it was successful, it should say welcome to iCloud. You can just go ahead and click on finish and it's gonna ask you to restart your PC. You can go ahead and do this now or just restart it later. It won't really make a difference in the install. So I'm just gonna choose to restart later, so no. And now we can go ahead and try to run alt server again. So go ahead and search it up in the menu bar and just click enter to open it. And you should see it appear down in the bottom. And if there are two instances, just go ahead and close both of them and just open it again. I'm not sure why this happens, but it'll just make the installation easier so you know which one you're working with. And if you don't see it right here, just go ahead and click this up arrow and it might be in this menu here. But now we can go ahead and click on this alt server icon and then you're just going to want to simply click on install alt store and you'll notice that no devices are connected obviously. So you're going to want to go ahead and plug your iOS device in your PC using a lightning cable. And I already connected it to my PC so I just have to plug the lightning cable into my phone. And if you've never connected to this computer before, you're going to be asked to trust it. So just go ahead and click on trust and then put in your password. And now when you go to install alt store again, your device should pop up. There it is. And then just click on install alt store and you're gonna to wanna to enter your Apple ID and you're gonna to wanna to make sure this is the same one that you have currently on your iOS device. And I'm gonna blur this out obviously for security reasons. And once you've entered those credentials in, just click on install. And shortly after that, you should get a notification on your Windows device saying it's installing Alt Store. And it should say it's successful. And now over on your iOS device, you'll notice that Alt Store appeared. And once you go to open it, you're gonna notice that it's gonna say it's an untrusted developer. And that's obviously because you're using your own account to develop this app and install it on your device. So you're simply just gonna to have to trust this in the iOS settings. So go ahead and open those up. Scroll down to general, VPN and device management, and then you'll see your Apple ID there. Click on that, and then just simply click trust, and then hit trust. And now you can open up Alt Store. And it's gonna ask you if you'd like to receive notifications. I'd recommend that so you know if your apps are gonna expire soon or not. And then it's gonna to ask to access local devices on your network. And this is an important step, which I'll be explaining soon. So make sure to click yes or okay. And as you can see, we have successfully installed Alt Store here, but there are a few more things I would recommend doing before you continue on. 
And the first of those is go ahead and signing in with your Apple ID on alt server because that's how you're gonna be able to install apps. And if they're entered correctly, you'll see that it says a few steps here. And this is where that step that we clicked on okay earlier comes in important for allowing um, this to access local devices on our network because alt store actually allows you to connect your iOS device to your computer over the Wi-Fi, so you don't have to connect it every time your apps are about to expire. And to enable that, you're gonna to wanna to go back to your laptop or device or whatever you're using to install alt store from. And you're gonna to wanna to open up iTunes or Finder, depending on if you're on Windows or Mac. And within iTunes, go up to the top and select on your iOS device. And then you're just gonna to wanna to scroll down until you see sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. And simply just check that box and then click on apply and then sync. And once it's done displaying things up here, it should be done syncing and you can simply just click on done. And if you'd like, you can exit out of iTunes now. And what's nice about that feature there is when your apps, like I said, are about to expire, you can refresh them over the network rather than having to connect to your computer every time. And you are gonna wanna make sure you turn on your computer at least I think it's like every week or so your apps are about to expire. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it has access to the computer so that it can update and refresh them. And the last few things I'd recommend doing is going down to the uh, alt server icon. And then where it says automatically launch at startup, I'd recommend checking that just to make sure that it does have access to your iOS device so that it can refresh those expired IPAs. And just like that, you're done installing alt store. And as you can see, there are a few apps that do come custom on here. But if you'd like, they actually added an option for sources now up in the top. And you can even add a few trusted sources which have some apps like UTM, there's a dolphin emulator, and I'm actually not quite sure what this flying head thing is yet. And adding all of those sources there, you'll see that more apps will appear here and you have like UTM, Dolphin, and I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, Flycast, which I think is just another emulator. But yeah, it's basically it. Just make sure that you connect to your computer basically once a week just to make sure these apps are able to update and refresh. And besides that, you're good to go. And I do plan on making some more videos with Alt Server in the future, so make sure to stay tuned.